Good morning, everybody. Today's another beautiful day in the garage, um, and it's an exciting day for me. I'm gonna start tearing apart the engine today. Hopefully by the end of this video, we've got this engine ready to pull. Um, what engine specifically? We are working on the Land Rover today. So this is my first V8 uh, teardown in a lot, a lot of years. Um, when I was 16 years old, I owned a, a 1965 Impala with a 350 and did a complete turnaround, swapped it to uh, fuel injection. So it's just been a while. Since then, I've been working on mostly like Toyota and Honda four cylinders. So I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, <clears throat> before any build, I really like to get my things organized. So I've already got my, uh, my tools for surgery out. So I got my two impacts. Um, I use Ziploc bags typically um, to organize bolts, make sure I got everything on hand. I will use tape and zip ties sometimes to keep bolts with the parts in the order that they, they go in. I always keep a notebook so that I can make notes on any kind of parts I need to replace that I wasn't aware of. Uh, I put cardboard down that way with anything the block itself is all aluminum so i pull the heads off and whatnot i want to be able to put it on something i've saved up a whole bunch of packing so that this way when i pack it up and take it over to the machine shop it's it's kept safe that's also to protect the vehicle that i take it up in i got an air compressor ready which i may may or may not need, but it's mostly just for, for uh, supplying the air to blow things off. But I've got my creeper, engine stand ready, other creepers right here. And I think that, uh, that about does it. Okay, so I'm gonna start first with some of the outlining parts, or outer line parts. Uh, so I'm gonna remove the battery box. So this, this I wanna go because one, uh, the Land Rovers came with a jack here. Still have it, gonna keep it, gonna restore it. Um, but I won't be using that jack off-road. So this and the battery box are gonna go because what I'd like to do is create a, a dual battery setup here. Gonna take off the uh, radiator shroud and I'm gonna take off the intake manifold just to allow me some more space to get in and get my hands around things. Um, and then I'm going to start from the top of the engine down and just go for it. So let's let's do it Helps to have batteries folks Not as much space as I thought there was gonna be. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. So if it sits up that high.
Well, there's more than enough room for two of them. Uh, if they'll fit under the hood. I guess we'll find out. Not bad. Guess that's one way so I have ordered a uh, replacement for this just because I knew it was broken out uh, I knew that it was some janky work done and I don't know I'm not 100% sure whether I'll do a snorkel on it but at least I want everything functioning the way it should be if I do and this is a crucial part to that you don't succeed get a bigger tool the main reason I'm doing this is for regular cleanup and whatnot but if you can see right here hidden on hidden to the side of the box are several ground wires so the reason why I'm taking this out even though it's not essential to having to take the engine out um, I still want to I'm gonna pull all these off and I'm going to uh, reseat them so that they have a better ground Missing, missing, wrong screw. That just comes right out, so. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but this here this here this here this is all the bottom part of the the radiator shroud um, but I've got the steering stabilizer here 
and I've got the uh, sway bar. Now the sway bar I don't really care about as you can see here uh, uh, literally I haven't had them connected for such a long time it's not even funny so I'm just gonna take this out completely and we'll see we'll see if I put it back in. Um, when I go off-road with this thing I know that Land Rovers tend to be a little top-heavy but I'm gonna have this to begin with just loaded in the interior. I won't be doing a rooftop tent. I won't be doing anything on top. Um, so I'm not really expecting it to get any more top heavy currently. So I'm just gonna go ahead, remove that. I'll take the bolt out on the other side here and then just swing this down and then get all this out so that when I pull the radiator hose off to drain the radiator, it uh, just won't, it won't pull up here or spread out all over the place. I'll be able to control the drain just a little bit better. like that that's out <laughs> Ooh, thing weighs a freaking time oh alrighty now Is it heavy? Yes. It's electrical wire. Oh. It's yeah, heavy, it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. I don't want to get you tangled. You don't want to stay with me? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I call this my ball and train. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm uh, good. Good. Thank you. Life trade you good? Uh, yeah, almost retirement. Like Perfect. Like 20 something more days and I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, congratulations and we'll miss you. It's a good feeling, you know? Oh, no doubt. I mean, I'm far away from it, but... But you're oh, <laughs> <laughs> the days are going slow as my Oh, I bet. I bet. Wire kit, folks. The other reason I'm going through all this trouble though is because uh, I was able to get a Raptor 4x4 front tubular bumper for this from the UK and I just don't plan on this bumper going back in. Um, so assuming that all this stuff has to come out with the, to, to swap out the bumper, uh, I'm just doing it. 
kind of the nice thing about pulling everything apart is that you just don't have to discriminate or work around anything. You just work all the layers and get it done. I got the bottom part of the shroud off. I've got the top part of the shroud off. I can't, can't get this out or around anything. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead, unhook un, uh, this hose and do my best to try to catch everything that comes out. So here we go. So battery is out, radiator is out now. Uh, power steering cooler. I will actually. I'm gonna replace pl replace that as well as the AC condenser. All like all these things I'm gonna replace while I've got everything out. Um, air intake out. So now I'm gonna start working on the engine top to bottom. Um, I'm gonna start with the manifold, but. Um, before I get to that, I'm gonna take the belt out so that I can start here and then start working on all the front side stuff.
So I'm gonna get a new air AC compressor as well. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with this one, but I just want to save the time later on. This is this is obviously the uh, original, um, but I have no way to evacuate the system. So for now, I'm just gonna take it and flop it over there. Might, uh, might remember if you saw the last video uh, I said I just recently had back surgery which um, there's good news I'm now out of my brace as you can clearly see but I still can't um, I still have to support my back no matter what I do so I got this overhead creeper uh, so you can lay across it's really nice um, aside from supporting my back and everything <clears throat> it also just makes it really easy when you're one person trying to manage all of the things in all of the places it's just really nice to have so I mean it's real straightforward you just lay on it and go That's a wrap. Okay, so intake manifold is off, radiators out, most of the, the side things that I needed to remove to make room for uh, engine removal are, are out. Now we're down to the engine. Uh, so, but it's, uh, it's dinner time. The wife's got, the, got dinner on the table, so I'm gonna clean up. And um, one thing I am gonna do before I before I shut down is I'm gonna take some pictures. So I've got when I bought the car, it actually had its catalytic converter stolen, and when they ripped them out, they ripped out the O2 sensor cables. So I got this from a junkyard. Um, I'm gonna cut off all the re all the wrapping. I'm gonna rewrap it. I am going to re. Uh, I'm going to upgrade all of the power wires and ground wires, um, <clears throat> resheath it, make it look real nice, and I'm going to test all the connections. That way I know it works when, uh, when we put everything back together. But that's it. Um, I'm going to put it down for tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. Um, we still got more to go. So uh, let's take a look. <clears throat> so this is where we left off yesterday. Um, not bad, I got further than I expected, uh, but not as far as I would like, of, of course. Um, but we're close. So today, hopefully we're gonna get a lot of this mess cleaned up, pulled off, uh, separated and then exhaust now i'm going to pull the exhaust manifolds but i'm also going to pull the y pipe um because i'm thinking maybe while i've got the engine out i'll drop the tranny and the transfer case and do just some seals and and whatnot in that uh but not 
not too not too much further to go so uh let's get at it so yesterday had a package show up oh and uh this is the good stuff this is the good stuff so i had ordered um some electrical wire for this let's get this back here we go now because i'm redoing this harness um i wanted to go ahead and i wanted to do redo the wiring for it uh redo the power wire specifically so i'm not really gonna do like the big three the the gauge for this um harness wire is already pretty big um most of it is either one gauge or two gauge wiring so really all i did was go with more one gauge and two gauge but this is actually welder wiring and so it's pure copper very 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 uh fine strand uh strand copper so it's just gonna have good flow and um i also got extra because of what i want to do with the dual battery setup so hopefully i have enough but i got i think what i need doesn't have to be flashy it just has to work well all right done with what I care to do up top I got a stripped bolt head right here so I'm gonna have to go get an extractor kit not really an issue that'll be fine valve covers I'll remove when I get it out basically that really just leaves exhaust manifolds and an exhaust so let's get at it So exhaust manifolds are out, Y pipe is out, um, this is pretty much where I can go ahead and pull it. Uh, I can access the, the motor mounts real easily, I can, I can access the transmission bolts and everything pretty easily. So 
Um, but that's all going to be in the next video. So um, <clears throat> feel free to comment down below if you know you think I could do something differently or if I should approach something a little differently. Comment down below if you have any ideas uh, regarding any of the stuff that you saw today. Um, until next time, I'll see you then. Peace.